Welcome. Um, here to talk about the uh, Bell Qualifier DLX helmet uh, designed for the Senna SMH10 Bluetooth headset. Um, it's a great helmet. Uh, I've used it a few times and uh, it's really good. This is the helmet clamp um, that I had to purchase separately specifically for this helmet. Also the Mag9 helmet, the Bell Mag9 helmet. Um, so it was uh, about 40 bucks online plus shipping. Uh, motorcycle, Superstore, Revzilla. Um, I didn't see anywhere on there that, that let me know that you need one of these. In order to install this, you're just gonna have to, I mean, I'm guessing this is gonna take maybe five minutes. I mean, you, you gotta first off, pull out your um, cheek pad, snaps out in there, just like that. You don't have to take it all the way out. Just enough to be able to slide this into place, S slide it down in there. Uh, let's see if I can get it. There we go, snapped into place. Uh, your mic's gonna run underneath through here up to the front. When you when you buy the uh, the helmet clamp kit um, designed for the helmet and the Senna, uh, it comes with a an Allen wrench and a little little bolt here that you just uh, pop in. Might want to tighten it a little further using the uh, leverage of the extended arm of the Allen wrench. Don't want to over tighten it though and strip something. The helmet actually comes with pockets, Velcro pockets designed for the, uh, the speakers. Make sure you have the speaker part facing out. Let's go ahead and do the other side. Pull this out like so. Okay, and just slide that into the pocket as so, and then uh, close the Velcro, and it's automatically in place. Next, uh, you're going to want to hide hide the cord. So, what I did when I first installed it was just, uh, you know, stuffed it down underneath between the uh, the shell of the helmet and some of the padding. This part doesn't come out as far as I know. Might, this part comes out, but the, uh, the back part doesn't come out. Get the cord, the excess cord, back in between there some, somewhere. Snap, snap the front of the cheek pad back into place. There we go. Okay, and next you have to slide this underneath the shell of the helmet. The other side has a very short cord, so not as much work on the other side. Let's start that part over. I need to put it back a little bit further. Yeah, I forgot to snap it in too. Okay, so we're just gonna snap front of the cheek pad back into place. There we go. And then start placing this uh, plastic edge back around underneath inside of the shell. Not too bad. So it's in place. You got your microphone up front here inside the helmet. Uh, I have worn this helmet uh, a few times since I bought it. Um, it's a great helmet. I, I really like like it. I had a uh, $600 AGV helmet, and I think I like this one more. The the base model of this helmet, I think it's, it's 109 bucks on uh, Revzilla, but it's the deluxe model, and it's uh, I, I paid 229. And for the uh, additional cost, you get the built-in spot for the Senate, and also you get. The shield, I want, I, I want to say it was 100 and, 110, 120 bucks for this Transitions uh, tr shield, which um, turns dark in sunlight and then clear in the dark. 
So, I mean, it's, it's great. I, I've, I've ridden in sunshine and it got really dark. It was perfect. A um, little bit of wind noise when the, uh, at highway speeds, you know, 70, 80 miles an hour. On, on the left side with the, the center in place, um, you, might, you might like to, you might want to pop in uh, an earplug or two um, for if you're going to do a long trip. Okay, so the uh, Senna SMH10 just uh, pops in just like it would on the normal uh, clamp. So that's it. You're you're pretty much uh, pretty much ready to go. Um, you're just gonna have to get the helmet clamp kit. Um, about forty bucks plus shipping and handling. Revzilla Motorcycle Superstore.com. Thanks for watching. Good. Okay. Hello. We're here uh, talking about the Bell Qualifier DLX helmet designed for the uh, Senna HMH10. Um, SMH10. We have recording and we're live. It didn't say um, that you needed it. You know, um, let's see, what could I say next? It's been a long day. <laughs> yeah, the Mag 9, that's what I was going to say, the Mag 9. Pause for editing. <laughs> um, I forgot to talk about clamping it in there. This was designed for the Mag 9, the Bell Mag 9 helmet, but it didn't say the DLX also. But just to let you know, it does also... Um, work for the qualifier DLX. Did I leave anything out? <laughs>